comparison. You didn't start it, but somehow you cannot stop it. You were young and heard constantly labels, measures, grades. You didn't understood really well back then, but you felt it and it wasn't the best feeling. The first result of the comparison is the insecurity. I can remember myself in that stage. I already had other sources of insecurity when this one arrived. Or maybe when I felt it really strong. For this reason, I started to observe my comparison subjects their environment, their experience, their mindset. I saw that it's impossible to compare myself with someone so different. And then I found the perfect one, my own person. Same environment, same experience, same mindset. This worked well for a while. Maybe in the art field, this is the most relevant. You can choose a piece from your past and compare it with your present work. In other aspects of your life, you start to realize that even your experience is changing, sometimes letting you without space of comparison. Art is so subjective, it's difficult to compare yourself with other artists. After that, so many styles, techniques, mediums. You cannot measure with complete accuracy where are you sitting. There is the beauty of art, the unknown. On the other side, it's almost impossible to not compare, scrolling on millions of artists and seeing their stories. Even if you are good enough, maybe you didn't find your style. If you found your style, maybe you are not making money from art. If you are making money, maybe you are not in the galleries. And like this, you can go on and on. If even the right side of your body is not the same as your left side, how you can compare yourself with a different person? Sometimes I ask myself if the nature is doing the same. If the sea wants to be forest and the forest sea. Anyway, it will be impossible.
Maybe this can bring us to a conclusion. Maybe to be more inspired by others, to observe more, to accept our own expression, our own time, our own road. And anyway, no storm stays forever. Everything is temporary, even ourselves.